Wow, I don't know. Willis Babulu always manages to have fun wherever he goes. We're having too much fun. We're also having fun here. We're discussing real <laughs> politics, <laughs> real issues. And now we want to even get uh, to the uh, even more exciting bit. We're talking legal, legalese. Now, <laughs> of course, there's some um, legal implications to this. Uh, uh, contest against the anti-party, anti-party mm. hoping. Party hoping. Mm. No. Yeah, I think, uh, first of all, it's a right to go to court. And this is the, the independent uh, arbit uh, arbiter of disputes. Uh, and I don't want to anticipate mm -hmm. what the likelihood of the judgment mm. uh, is likely to come. But I want to say this, as uh, Mr. Kilo has said, um, the we need to bring hygiene in our politics because the moment you allow people to be changing parties so frequently even the cost is too high now and i hope that uh, then the courts will also be able to allow uh, some internal uh, democracy within the, the parties the, the parties because remember this law will not have been passed without a court. Mm -hmm. So uh, my brother here, he's trying to say that it was Jubilee mm -hmm. that, you know, uh, pushed this law. No, no, no. It was a law that was agreed by a court team yes. as well as the, the Jubilee side okay. of, the, of the coalition. Secondly, I want to say something regarding the question of uh, uh, how do we develop a, a country? First of all, from a political point of view, we need political philosophies mm -hmm. of parties. So that you identify with a political philosophy and say it doesn't matter where who is the leader of that particular party i can see what is contained there if it is implemented it's likely <coughs> to impact my life mm -hmm. and that to me is the way we talk about is that the direction we're going to go towards what is called yeah. uh, mature democracy and that's what you find in a place like the u.s you've got two political parties in the uk you've got two political mm -hmm. parties and so forth when you have too many political parties a lot of times they are not based on anything like a philosophy mm -hmm. or a doctrine it is just simply i want to go to parliament okay. which vehicle is going to take me to parliament okay. and we must by avoid that okay now yeah. 165 yeah. days to the election of course the political heat is getting uh, to crazy levels and uh, uh, there's a headline here where we say uhuru stands neutral as titans line up for battle basically uh, the president is even finding it difficult to visit his home county of Kiambu, <laughs> where the <laughs> senator comes from, and we've just been discussing the issue. Right. Uh, there are already five of you who want to be senator vying for the same Jubilee Party ticket because right. once you get that ticket, you're guaranteed the uh, election. Uh, uh, Kiambu has the highest number of voters as we speak right now. Sure. All over the country, it is the highest, uh, the, the county with the highest number of voters, 1.19 million. No yeah. other county comes close. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. L L L now, uh, we're finding that the president. That is his backyard. These votes are, uh, he's guaranteed of. At least uh, that is what we know. Now, he's even finding it hard. I remember last week he cancelled a visit to Kiambu. When he went around Nyandarwa, Nakuru, he wants to go to Kiambu. He just cancelled at the last minute. Le fine. Le le let me first thank the people of Kiambu for being, uh, you know, I think the best people one would deal with. I mean, and the record speaks for itself. You said it. We are the highest number of of, of people who came out to register as voters. I mean, that tells you the level of awareness and commitment there is in Kiambu to ensuring that democracy works first in the country and then also for our people in Kiambu. And then secondly, to say this, that, um, see, when do you talk about the president avoiding uh, going to Kiambu? Uh, you know, being his home county, he goes to Kiambu when it is announced and when it is not announced. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is home. And, and, and secondly, he may have also a political opinion and leadership, offer leadership to his own county and council. He would say, I would want things, things, things to look like this because he is also, he is also the president of Kiambu, being the president of Kenya. So, and, and l l let me debunk this myth that he cancelled. I, I would want to inform anybody of that opinion. Actually, what we decided as leaders is to sit down and say, because we could see from the efforts we were putting, I'm sure, I don't mm -hmm. know whether you looked at the Star mm -hmm. uh, newspaper yesterday, and you saw the number of members of parliament who came out, including myself, there was a photograph there of, of our people, my team, and our vehicles mobilizing people to come and register as voters. We agreed that because we could foresee we are going to be the highest 
county with the highest number of registered voters, he will come to Kiambu and thank the people of Kiambu for having heeded that call that we should lead by example. So you can be sure. Well, that is you, one thing. You can be so sure about the one thing. Uh, that, that, that when he's taking off in this particular uh -huh. election, he will have a 1.19 million lead, 1.2 million mm -hmm. votes lead ahead of his competition. Is the president just scared of being seen with Matangi and, 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 and don't be, don't don't be he cheated. He's a preferred candidate. That is why he got the, the, the 47% in the well, polling. Unlike uh, Senator Wamatangi, I don't want to talk about things that I do not understand. Mm -hmm. Kiambu politics is so dynamic since independence, followed by Nakuru, where our brother comes from. Mm -hmm. But I think the president, possibly in his wisdom, realized that there was no need to go and uh, spy a willing horse, because Kiambu was already mm -hmm. uh, moving ahead with the issue of registration. But as he said, the president is free to go to his home in a day, mm -hmm. but of course there are certain local dynamics that possibly the president may want to shy away from mm -hmm. even the issue of the contestants mm -hmm. both for senate and okay. also for governor's position but uh, more fundamental is the issue of uh, democracy in kenya uh, the way they are talking about kiambu and nakuru saying they are jubilee zone the main problem is that we demonize democracy mm -hmm. i'm sure there are millions of people in nakuru who would want to go to nasa but uh, with this size and with this uh, presence and with these threats, mm -hmm. they may be reluctant to talk about NASA now. Mm -hmm. But I can assure you, when the votes are cast, mm -hmm. we mm -hmm. are going to get a lot of votes from Nakuru. Mm -hmm. We know because you contact people. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> 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 Let me tell you, we don't have a problem with you getting votes. What we talked about is the winning vote. That's okay. Just like you yourself, use, use your own word. Yeah. You talked about Kakamega. Yeah. And you basically said it's another zone. So it doesn't matter whether it is Senator Kawale or it is wherever it is as long as they are all yeah. nasa mm -hmm. then you can have what nomination there okay. yeah. it's the same thing with nakuru we are not saying there are no nasa uh, uh, voters no 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 no. Yeah. far from it the point of the matter is this we can say yeah. that the uh, given the dynamics of that place this is a this is an area which is predominantly this ah, so therefore, therefore, yeah, therefore yeah. the so jubilee now. primaries in nakuru yes. will be more heated yeah. than probably the very nasa, very much uh, so. but let me, let me also say something about the demography of the country yeah. nairobi has got the highest number of yes, voters over two years. secondly is kiambu third is kakamega and fourth is nakuru that mm. do you know that's what it is mm. so when you say that kiambu is registering quite a number of voters it's actually born by fact that the fact that the statistics of demography favor Kiambu. In any event, Kiambu ought to have gotten that number of voters. Why? Because that's the, the president territory. I'm sure if you look at uh, other areas where presidential countries are coming from, uh, okay, there is only one I understand yeah. from his analysis that you are likely to have. Why do you one. believe it? <laughs> <laughs> I said, I said, likely. I didn't say likely. Like, okay. 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 Yes. Wherever that may be. Very 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 in, in any event, in any event, our brother here has told us very clearly, and we don't have uh, any objection to that. That mm -hmm. there's nothing wrong yeah. in Jaramogu. I mean, in, in uh, right Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Nobody has said anything. No, yeah. see, no, no, see, no, there's nothing. There's nothing. There's nothing. Okay. Actually, actually you have Senator, you, Senator you, Alwani, we're going to wrap up the news with you. Yes, so let me give you a chance. Is this my last comment? Uh, yes, uh, you can make it a last comment so that we go around. No, I don't, I'll, uh, give you, I'll give you an extra minute. Uh, uh, an extra minute. Yeah. I wanted to use this opportunity for the first time in a long time to agree with Senator Matangi. Mm -hmm. The people of Kiambo deserve to be congratulated mm -hmm. for the way they have turned out to register as voters. Mm -hmm. But that notwithstanding, we are urging the chairman of e e IEDC to ensure that an audit is done so that the many dead voters we know who are there in that register of Kiambu are removed so that the number of voters agrees with the scientific demographics of a population. A population in a third world country responds to something called the pyramid structure where at the best you have the youth, many and at the top you have the aged who are fewer. That you can have over 50% people registered as voters begs for a question because in all other counties and constituencies it is, it is averages around at just above one third. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we need to look at the audit. Having said that, I now want to address Senator Matangi. Mm -hmm. You are very excited about figures. 
the figures that are exciting you, it is because you are refusing to apply the law of interpretation. Figures in mathematics don't mean anything until you apply that. Meaning, today we have 19 million registered voters. Of this, 16 million are in the respective strongholds of COD and NASA, and 4 million are in battleground. In the stronghold of Jubilee, you have 8.2 million people, and in the stronghold of NASA, you have 8.0 million people. 200,000 registered voters in a voting population of 19 million people is not statistically significant. And therefore, you guys go and work hard. We are working hard on the paddle ground. It is the battle ground that is going to determine the outcome of the current Senate. election. Final comment, Senator? My final comment is that uh, I can't leave this uh, panel today without speaking to my pet topic, corruption. Mm -hmm. I would like Kenyans to know that the 43 billion shillings that President Uhuru wants to spend on buying 12 armed aircrafts from the U.S., the, the aircrafts are worth only 23 billion shillings. Mm -hmm. 20 billion, they want to lie in their pockets, and this matter mm -hmm. is already in the Congress. My brother and friend, the congressman of North Carolina, Ted Budd, has moved the Congress okay. that this particular tender should be crushed. There was no competitive bidding. It is another opportunity for Uhuru and Ruto to still 20 billion Kenya shares. That story is also on the front page of the Daily Nation. You can uh, oh. read it for yourself. It's actually Daily military Nation. planes overpriced by 20 billion mm. shillings on the front page of the Daily Nation. I'm going to give final words. Well, I think uh, <laughs> what is really <laughs> crucial is uh, in this country uh, we are, we should be happy that uh, we have prosecuted democracy since independence. And for bad or for worse, mm -hmm. as Churchill said, democracy is the worst form of governance, but it doesn't have an alternative. Mm -hmm. It is the one we have. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I would like to appeal to all fellow Kenyans first to participate in this process to ensure that we have, we celebrate our democracy. Because this country, in the long run, is going to be uh, uh, a beneficiary of a strong democratic process. Yeah. That to me is most important. But I want to touch something about corruption. Yes. You know, corruption is not a friend of any Kenyan. Mm -hmm. I say any Kenyan. But for three million Kenyans. Because what does it do? It undermines and undercuts our potential. So there should be no issue of anybody celebrating that we are corrupt. Or anybody is corrupt. And I would like to see uh, evidence Personally, because my brother has made allegations that uh, Uhuru, Kenyatta, and Ruto, they are supposed to be sharing the difference between what is being alleged. Here. Yes. Well, uh, listen. Uh, yes. We need to clarify also yeah. from the point uh, of Citizen TV yeah. that you do not. That yes. is not uh, what Citizen TV has said. Yes. That is what Senator Halwale That's has said. That's what I'm trying to And say. I repeat, so go and no. open the website. Uh, no, 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 no. Unless you substantiate yeah. the problem. I, 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 I not, think it's important it because you see, yes. you know, in, in our country, <laughs> one of the dangers that we always find is that people throwing mud and making statements. <laughs> and this man is very intelligent. But sometimes he behaves as if he never went to school, <laughs> which is very sad. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. We, we, don't, we don't want to read to you. But when he makes general uh, allegations, that <laughs> yes. because the Kenyans will trust this man <laughs> and say, oh, who is going away with the 23 yes. billion children? 20. That, that no, no, no. We, we need to clarify. We need to clarify. And once yeah. again, I clarify that yeah. that is a process being interrogated really in the United States. Exactly. Yeah. No one has been accused, yes. and therefore we cannot uh, go with uh, the allegations by Senator Halwale. <laughs> <laughs> well, unfortunately, corruption has uh, three faces. One, it has a tribal face, uh, which at times uh, comes out <laughs> awkwardly. I don't want to say when. Number two, we've given it the party face. And uh, number three is, is he partaking with us. This is where we need to separate corruption from the individual because I think some of these individuals are victims of corruption mm -hmm. because they have come to believe the only way you can make a decent living is by amassing wealth in a primitive way. <laughs> we need to see how we can assist them. Mm -hmm. For me, I no longer look at corruption 
as an issue for the leaders alone. Even we, mm -hmm. members of our society, we need to interrogate the leaders that we have, select them on the basis of their clean record, or reject them on the basis of their bad record. Okay. This is where we are. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, mine a very quick one. Uh, mm. Two issues. First, the one that was raised by, raised by Senator Halole on um, the number of registered voters in Kiambu. I want to inform Senator Halole that you can, you're free to look at the, at, at the population as registered in Kiambu, that we have a population of 2.2 million. People. Now, and uh, secondly, that out of those 2.2 million people, we have uh, undertaken personally at, the, at a leadership level to ensure that people come out and vote, and so we voted, we, we registered 1.19 million people. And secondly, the constitution and the election laws in the select committee that you sat in, inserted a clause that requires the entire voters register mm -hmm. to be audited. At that time it is the, it's the entire register. I want to assure you that out of the people who have registered in Kiambu, we are all alive, we shall vote to remove yourselves and the policy you are trying to bring in to cheat Kenyans. And lastly, you know, let me say this for the sake of Kenyans, mm -hmm. really. You know, Winston Churchill said that the truth is incontrovertible. Mm -hmm. Malice may attack it, ignorance may deride it, but in the end, there it is. Okay. Now, on this question of, of, of the 20 billion that Senator Halwale tries to allege, uh, my friend, you know, you know, let me, let, uh, let, but let me, let me, but, but, but let me make this clear to Kenyans. Kenyans need to understand this. this Fine, but, but, but Kenyans need to understand this once, once it is out in the open. Now listen, now, this is my, my, my state, you know, my friend Senator Hanwani and all those of his thinking cannot be truthfully that ignorant. That's why I quoted that quote by Winston Churchill. Because, you know, you are giving in the impression that at your level of understanding, you believe that military aircraft is sold somewhere in a kiosk or in a, or, or in a hotel somewhere or in a small duka. I mean, this is a transaction that in involves the United States government. Okay. Are you saying, are you telling Kenyans that, that the United States government, government, to expound that, 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 that the United States government, government is, is intending to steal 20, 20 billion? No, 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 no. And, and this is not from for, for, for your information. information. Let, 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 let me give you, let me give you, let me give you information. I want to give you, I want to give you. We, we are done with the news review. My name is Fred Indimoli. I'm thanking the senators on my panel. Bwana Karanja Kabage, Bwana Kipruto Rapkirwa, Asanteni Sara. Good morning. Thank you.